Everybody, today is Tuesday, the 30th of August, and the market, the S&P that is, came right down to where it was supposed to today. That is the volume-weighted average price from the low this year. Uh, it undercut the 50-day moving average, and it came down to the 50% retracement, as well as what we've been talking about this week is the measured move. The measured move actually brought, would have brought it down to 399 so it slightly undercut that. But the main thing is the volume-weighted average price from the low so far has found buyers in there. Now, it's not very convincing while we're still below a declining five-day moving average. If you follow me on Twitter, I had noted uh, later in the day that uh, getting above this volume-weighted average price from the morning low, which had been support turned resistance, uh, that getting above that would lead to a test of the weekly, uh, I'm sorry, daily VWAP. And if that could find legs, then perhaps up to the week to date. Obviously, that didn't materialize. The market just chopped around here. I have no position. We're below a declining five-day moving average. Odds do not favor along. So the whole point to a level of interest is it has the potential to become support here. So far, we don't really have any evidence that support has been found unless you're looking at this, you know, intraday chart and you say, you know, that you're going to trade it with a stop underneath today's low, if that's your way of trading. As far as a low risk setup for a longer term trade, I think it needs to do something along the lines of this, where in, it, it might even take a couple days. Now, it might just ramp higher, but you know the healthier way that I'd like to see this market uh, uh, un unfold from here is maybe rally up towards that five-day moving average, have a shakeout, and then kind of do something like this. That would get the volume-weighted average price from the Jackson Hole speech right here. That's what that volume-weighted average price is. That would then look like this. The five-day moving average would flatten out and then you know five days later we would be down here so maybe Friday into Monday of next week if this is going to happen it's not meant as a prediction it's a potential scenario and it doesn't matter how I trade it it's what you do with this information as I point out all the time I present these scenarios and my preference is not to buy them while they're below a declining five-day moving average or even while the five-day moving average is declining because that tells me the intermediate term is still lower. So we're at this important level. Now it's time to look for evidence. That's what we look for here. I did not sell short right here. We had identified it as a potential level of resistance. It wasn't until it broke down from there and showed that it was, in fact, resistance that, to me, it made sense to get short over here on this day. You didn't have to sell short at the peak. You don't have to sell short at the low. We, you know, this might be the low, but it might just continue lower. We're in an overall, you know, bearish environment still. We have a declining 20, 30, and 40 week moving average, and nobody knows the future. People can talk as confidently as they want about what is going to happen or what has happened as far as, you know, this, the low has been put in. I really don't care if the low has been put in, put in. To me, it's about how can I make money along the way when we have a bullish trend? How can I avoid these pullbacks with my longs and get involved on the short side and make money there? You know, it's an academic exercise to say, hey, the low was in and I called it. Who cares? You don't get paid for that unless you're going on television and, and uh, you know, making your name that way. If you're a trader, you trade for price action and price action says we're still under a declining environment on the intermediate term trend with the declining five day moving average, not only in the SPY, but of course the NASDAQ here as well. The daily time frame, we have the same similar area. We have that volume weighted average price from the low it has the potential to become support, but when we look at the 15-minute time frame, we still have a very clear pattern here of lower highs and lower lows, and most important, we have a declining five-day moving average. That says, I don't trust it. I'm not going to put my hard-earned money at risk and try to guess the bottom, not when we have all this pressure on the bigger time frame where we're still in a bearish environment. The Russell 2000 lost some ground as well. It's got a declining 20, 30, 40 week moving average as we know. Uh, we're down to the volume weighted average price from the March 29th high in the 50 day moving average. The volume weighted average price from the low here is down at about 181. Maybe that continues to go lower. It's not about 
guessing the turning points. It's about finding evidence at the turning points so that we can get involved in a low-risk way and protect ourselves with a stop if the momentum fails to follow through in the anticipated direction. And of course, that would mean the anticipated direction would be that it's turning around in this area and it would need to do something like this. That's several days away. I'm not in a hurry to get involved and try to be a hero and pick the bottom. The S uh, semiconductors, as we know, have been the, the real laggard here. They've been stuck below the volume weighted average price from the uh, July low here last Friday and into this week. Now what we would expect in here is if we rally up, this has the potential up in here to become resistance and if it were in fact to become resistance I would think we're probably going to go head down and test this low the market has still has a lot of problems the semiconductor stocks like Nvidia are in downtrends Micron in a downtrend applied materials there's no reason to be a buyer of these stocks just because you're used to them being leaders that was you know that ship has sailed a while ago financial stocks also you know they're down down below the volume weighted average price from their low they're coming up to the 50-day moving average but the primary trend is lower we still see that uh, on the on the daily time frame and on the intermediate term time frame we have a declining five-day moving average this is not the type of environment that I want to be a buyer of we still have stocks that are working today for alpha trend subscribers got short uh, toll brothers and not necessarily because it's a, uh, um, a home builder it happens happens to be a home builder the fact is it was in a low risk opportunity to sell short we sold it short after the initial gap this was our short sale price right here so it rallied up onto strength I'm not going to sell short to strength but as it breaks back down and then to put our stop above the high of the day to cover a third along the way etc that's uh, just in case you're not aware I am running a sale on alphatrends.net and um, please take a look at alphatrends.net for all the details I won't bore you with it